I'm gonna show you some really cool text effects that you can create pretty fast and easily, all within the edit page of Resolve. If you're new here, I'm Allie, and Will and I release weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. Now, let's hop into Resolve and get started. Let's create a custom social media tag. In the edit page, open effects, search for text and drag it above our talking head. Just gonna close this, select our text and make sure you're in the title tab. You can change it to say whatever you'd like, of course. Scroll down to background. You're not gonna see anything until you increase the height. And I'll leave a little bit of extra space on both sides of the width slider. You'll see why in a sec. We can adjust the roundness or sharpness of our corners by using the corner radius slider. You can increase or decrease the opacity of the rectangle using this slider here. And if you'd like to change the color, click on the color box and choose whichever color works for you. Okay, since I wanna add a YouTube icon to the front of the text, I'm gonna drag the center X number to the left like so. Open up the media pool and drag my YouTube logo onto the V3 track. Select it and it's ginormous right now, so let's decrease the zoom to make it smaller and we can move the X position over. Okay, and that's looking good. Now let's group this text and logo together by selecting them both, right clicking and choosing new compound clip and press create. Let's move the position to the left part of our screen. And if you wanna make sure your title's safe, click on this icon to open our title safe guides and choose title. Now I'll adjust the position to meet this inner border. Click on this icon again to turn it off. And right now our social media tag doesn't have any movement. So let's open effects and search for push, drag it onto our tag and check this out so far. Okay, looking good. If you wanna adjust the speed, you can drag this left or right, or with it selected, you can adjust the duration this push takes place right here. I also like to increase the motion blur. So as it pushes in, it's just a bit blurrier until it stops, which is more true to what your eye would see when someone's watching something move fast. Let's also choose ease in, so it eases in a bit more smoothly. Grab the push effect again, put it on the end, and instead of pushing left, which does this, let's choose push right and ease out since it's moving out. Add some motion blur. Awesome, let's check this out. Okay, great. Next, let's create this neon flicker look by in effects, searching for flicker. There it is under fusion titles, drag it onto our timeline and with it selected in our inspector, change the text to whatever you'd like. You can hover over any of the different fonts to get a sneak peek of what they look like, increase the size, and if you scroll down, you can increase or decrease the glow. You can even adjust this slider if you don't want any glow. I'm liking the glow, so let's check this out so far. Okay, that's looking great. We could be done there, but if you want to slow down the flicker, you can increase flicker delay and if you wanna change the color, you can click the color box, but this isn't the most accurate. So to more precisely control the color, scroll all the way down and adjust the color wheel. Let's check this out. Awesome. On a side note, I'm also currently working on a tutorial showing how to create some cool text effects in Fusion. And even if you're new to Fusion, this would be a great place to learn because I won't make anything too, too complicated. To see that video when it's released, subscribe to our channel. For this next one, let's make our text circle around this mug. This time we're gonna use text plus because it gives us a few more options to make cool adjustments. In our text box, I'll write we love coffee. Let's pop into the layout tab. Under type, choose circle, which curves our words as you can see. Pop back into text, select we love coffee. Press command C or control C on your keyboard to copy that. And command or control V to paste it a few times. As we do, it creates a full circle of text around our mug. We do have this little gap here, so I'll just increase the size a bit so it disappears. Okay, lovely. Go into layout again, and I actually want the overall size of this text a bit smaller. So I'll decrease this size slider, which brings down the size as a whole. If we wanted this circle of words to be smaller overall, we could adjust the center Z slider 
which you may need to do. Just gonna undo that because it was good the way it was. And I'd like this circle to rotate around the mug. So with our playhead at the beginning here, click on the rotation Z keyframe to hold this position at this point in time. Now let's bring our playhead to the end of the clip and drag our rotation Z to minus 144. And when we let go, another keyframe's been placed to hold this second rotation position. Okay, let's check this out. Awesome, there you go. Next, let's create pop-up text. You could use the regular text effect, but again, I'm gonna choose text plus because I'm gonna show you a little bonus thing. So, all right, pop-up text, change the font type and increase the size. Bring your playhead to the beginning of your text layer. And in settings, bring zoom down to zero. Add a keyframe to hold this size and position. Now use your right arrow key on your keyboard to move five frames over. Bring zoom up to 1.25. And when you click away, a keyframe holds this new size at this frame of our text. Now use your right arrow key to move three more frames to the right and bring zoom down to 0.90. Okay, let's check this out. Awesome. So you could be done here, but here's the little bonus. Go into shading and under properties, click this A here, which creates this cool outline look on your text. To quickly make it thinner if you want to, you can also click outside only. And voila. Next, I'll show you a quick way to do a text reveal. I'm gonna change this font, increase the size, and adjust the tracking slider to give more space in between each letter. Scroll down and adjust the Y axis to make it a bit higher. Let's pop into settings and bring our cursor just past the middle of our text. Under cropping, crop right, add a keyframe. Now let's bring our cursor to the beginning of the text and adjust the crop right slider all the way so we can no longer see it. And let's check this out. Okay, overall that's good, but I'm finding it reveals like a little too slow. So we can easily move the position of the second keyframe by clicking down here on the keyframe icon. And here is where our second keyframe is. Let's click on it and drag it to the left a bit more, which will make this text reveal faster. And one more thing I'm gonna do is increase the softness slider, which will add a fade to each letter as it reveals. Let's check it out. Awesome. I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna know our favorite gear that we use on YouTube videos, as well as commercial shoots, or our favorite hard drive, because it's super fast, super small, and super portable, check out the links below. Here are some other videos that would be good follow-ups to this one. I highly recommend you check out to take your editing game to the next level. Have yourself a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next video.